In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix the Minecraft launcher error code 0x803f8001. Basically saying that the Minecraft launcher is currently not available in your account. The methods that I'll show you in this video will work for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. So the first thing that you need to do to fix this error is just ensure that Windows is up to date. And we can do this easily by right clicking on the start menu icon and then going to settings. Next you need to select update and security and you will then see a check for updates button. Go ahead and select this option and Windows will now search see if there are any new updates available for your computer. If it does detect a new update then it will download and install them. Once you have finished updating Windows the next thing that we want to do is also ensure that we have the latest updates installed in the Microsoft Store. So hopefully you should be able to do this, if you can't don't panic. So to do this all we need to do is open up the start menu and type in store. You then need to open up the Microsoft store. Once the store is open you then need to select library in the bottom left hand corner and you will then see get updates. Go ahead and click onto this button and it will then go ahead and download and install the latest updates for all your Microsoft store apps and games. Once that's finished close down the Microsoft store. And the next thing that we want to do is just ensure we have the correct date and time. And to do this you need to right click in the bottom right hand corner in your system tray on the date and time and then go to adjust date and time. So as you can see mine is currently set to automatic. You want to ensure this is on on and then also do the same for time zone. Once you have toggled both these options to on you should then see the correct date and time at the top. And you will then also see the correct time zone below. You can always click on sync now just to sync everything up. And as you can see I've now got a tick. Once you've done that close down the settings. And once you've done that go ahead and see if that fixed the error. If it didn't then you now need to open up the Microsoft store again. Once you have the store open you then need to select your profile icon. And you will then see a sign out option. You need to go ahead and sign out of the store. Once you have signed out the Microsoft Store you then need to open up the start menu icon again and we now need to type in Xbox. You then need to open up the Xbox app. You will then see your profile icon in the top left hand corner. You need to select this and you then need to click on to sign out. Once you have signed out of the Xbox app and also the Microsoft Store you then need to select the profile icon again and then sign back into both of the apps. Once you have signed back in go ahead and see if that fixed the error. If it didn't then the next thing that we need to do is close everything down and then right click on the start menu icon and go to settings. Once you're in settings we then need to select apps and you then need to search this list and type in store and then select the Microsoft store and go advanced options. Next you need to scroll down and you then need to click on repair. Once that's finished repairing go ahead and launch the store again and see if that helped. If it didn't then we now need to click on reset and then go reset. This will delete all the apps data and you might have to also sign back into the store again. Once again go ahead and launch it and see if that helped. If it didn't then press back and then click and search this list again and type in Xbox. Next you need to select the Xbox icon and we then need to go to advanced options. And you then need to scroll down and then do the same again. Click on repair. See if that fixed the error. If it didn't then select reset and then go reset. If none of that helped then the next thing that we want to do is clear the store's cache. And to do this all we need to do is open up the start menu. And then we need to type in ws reset. You will then see an option to run the command. But before you do this right click on it and go run as administrator. This is now going to clear the Microsoft store's cache. Once the cache has cleared then the Microsoft store should automatically open. Once it has opened see if that fixed the error. If it didn't then the next thing we need to do is again open up the start menu. But this time you need to type in PowerShell. You then need to right click on the Windows PowerShell and go run as administrator. Once PowerShell has opened you then need to type in the following. I will leave this pause for a few seconds or you can go to our website where you can grab the code. I will pop the link in the description below to where you can get it. If you're wondering why I haven't put the code in the description below that's because YouTube doesn't always like it when you put code in and it could end up removing some of the code. So once you have put that code in go ahead and press enter on your keyboard and this is going to reinstall the Microsoft Store. 
Once that's finished, go ahead and see if that resolved the error. If it didn't, then the next thing you need to do is open up PowerShell again as an administrator and you then need to put in the following code. Again, if you don't want to type out the code, then you can grab it from our website. Once you put the code in, go ahead and press enter. And this is going to remove the gaming services from Windows. Once that's finished, you now need to open up the start menu and you then need to type in the Xbox. And you then need to open the Xbox app. You will then have a welcome message. Go ahead and select let's play if it is the correct account. If it's not, then click on not you and then sign into the account. Once you're in, you will see at the bottom that you need to install the gaming services as we just uninstalled them. Go ahead and click on install and once that's finished, go ahead and see if that fixed the error. If that didn't help, then the next thing we want to do is right click on the start menu icon and then go to settings. Next, you need to go to update and security and you then need to go to troubleshoot. You then need to click on additional troubleshooters. And we then need to scroll all the way down until you see Windows Store Apps. Go ahead and select this option and then go run the troubleshooter. Now go through all the steps in the troubleshooter to see if that can fix the error. If that can't help, then the last thing I'd suggest is try swapping user profiles in Windows. So if you don't have another user profile in Windows, create another user profile and then give that a go. You will need to sign back into the Microsoft Store and also the Xbox app with the account that you purchased Minecraft on and then hopefully that will remove the error. If that doesn't help, then the next thing that you could do is just ensure that none of the Windows system files have become corrupted and this can be done by opening up the start menu icon and then typing in CMD. You then need to right click on command prompt and go run as administrator. Once command prompt's open, we then need to type in SFC and then space forward slash scan now and then hit enter. This is now going to begin checking all your system files. If it does detect a corrupted file or an issue with one of the files, then Windows will attempt to repair that file. If none of the methods did help you out in this video, then check out the link in the description below to our website where we might have new methods to resolving the error code with the Minecraft launcher. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see another computer sluggish video, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.